Hi there! Watch as Baker Man demonstrates his Rhode Island clam cake recipe using fresh shucked oysters instead of canned minced clams. Hello. Today we are going to make uh, Rhode Island clam cakes with oysters, so the oyster cakes. Uh, it's a clam cake recipe and I want to use oysters instead of minced clams. Uh, some people call them fritters. Uh, it's the same basic recipe. So first thing I need is to get the liquid out of these oysters because I want to use the liquid to make a batter. And I need the oysters to cut them up, so I'm going to let those drain. Now we're going to make our batter. And for the batter, we use a quarter, I mean, excuse me, a half a cup of uh, wheat flour and a half a cup of all purpose flour. And then I use an eighth of a cup of uh, powdered milk. That's about a half of a quarter. And I use a, a teaspoon of salt. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I use one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. And that's all the ingredients, the dry ingredients to make a batter. You want to make a batter that is thick and it holds on to the spoon and drops off. I'll show you. So we want to use just enough liquid to make a batter, much thicker than a pancake batter. So what I'll do now is I'll chop up the oysters and just throw them in. And you want about a cup of oysters. Uh, if you're using minced clams, you could use a couple of small cans. And some nice chunks there. Go back the other way. Yeah, that's about a cup right there. I like a lot. I'll go a little more. One more. Okay, that takes care of that. So now we want to mix this to a good consistency. I'll save these remaining oysters for some fried oysters. And I'm going to use the juice. To get a thick batter. take them and just sort of drop them in the grease just like that. So that's a pretty thick batter, you see? That's what you want. 
put this juice back in with these and save them for later. Okay. And, uh, I have baking powder here that I forgot to put in. Sorry about that, but that's a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'll sprinkle that all over the place and mix that in. Sorry about the baking powder. Should have mixed it in with the dry ingredients, but it'll work. Okay, now the uh, grease should be 365 degrees. So I have my handy thermometer here. So it's uh, 365. The reason why you won't go that high, you really want to cook them at 350, but then you start putting them in, the temperature drops. So we got our batter, and we're going to drop in a heaping, heaping teaspoons about the size of a golf ball. I can get four of them in here. So I'll cook four at a time. So the grease is still 350, which is nice. I'm going to roll these over. There they are. I just rolled them over to do the other sides. A little bit of tartar sauce on that. All right, so there they are, fully cooked. And I got four, eight, 12, 13, I already ate two. So there's 15 in an order. And uh, the other 15, I'll take it what I do. I take it, and I dip it in some tartar sauce. Mmm, very good. See how the bread's fully cooked, full of oysters? So there you go, some oyster fritters, oyster cakes. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me and also allows you to see my varied content.